Connectors have been used in SOLIDWORKS simulation studies for many years to represent complex component interactions while simplifying model geometry, resulting in much faster analysis with equally accurate results. These connectors include pins, bolts, linkage rods, various types of welds, and the very popular spring connector. Each of these connector types excels at representing different mechanisms or interfaces in different scenarios, but in past versions of SOLIDWORKS simulation, applications of the spring connector have been limited to sets of flat parallel faces, concentric cylindrical faces, or vertices, requiring more complex scenarios to be modeled in full detail. Additionally, only three degrees of freedom can be adjusted for these spring connectors, limiting their configurability. These limitations usually aren't problematic for representing actual springs, but the latest edition of SOLIDWORKS simulation introduces the general spring connector, which can be applied to nearly any form of geometry. This new connector allows up to six stiffness parameters to be defined for full configurability, dramatically expanding the number of potential applications. So let's take a look at how to use it in SOLIDWORKS simulation 2025. First, it should be noted that the general spring connector is only available in SOLIDWORKS Simulation Professional and Premium, so if you have Simulation Standard or the version of simulation that comes with SOLIDWORKS CAD Premium, you won't have access to this connector. Additionally, the general spring connector is not available for nonlinear studies. All the best practices for properly setting up a simulation study still apply here, so be sure to simplify models, define materials, and apply fixtures, loads, and component interactions as needed. This simple J-hook assembly is about 3 inches wide and has been defined with basic contact interactions between the components, fixed geometry on the faces where fasteners will be applied to the bracket, and a load of 150 newtons, or roughly 30 pounds, on the hook. In the finished design, a spring will be applied between the bracket and the ball at the top of the J-hook to absorb the applied force. Rather than modeling this spring and introducing unnecessary complexity, a spring connector can be used in this scenario, but standard spring connectors can only be applied to planar parallel faces or concentric cylindrical faces, so that's not an option here. The new general spring connector, however, does not suffer from this limitation. To apply a general spring connector, right-click the connections drop-down in the Simulation Study Manager and choose General Spring. Then select the faces you'd like to connect with the spring. The numeric fields in the Options section can be used to determine the mechanical parameters of the spring. From top to bottom, these parameters include axial stiffness, lateral stiffness in Y and Z directions, torsional stiffness, and bending stiffness in the Y and Z directions. Enabling the option for transversely isotropic stiffness will link the values for Y and Z direction stiffness parameters and ensure they remain equal. Many scenarios will use transversely isotropic stiffness, in which case the axial direction of the spring will be defined automatically. But if you do not wish to use this option, and plan to have different values for Y and Z stiffness, you'll need to select a local coordinate system to define the Y and Z directions. When doing this, it's important to understand that the X direction of the coordinate system selected will represent the axial direction of the spring. The final field allows a preload force to be defined if required, either compressive or tensile. Once all the necessary fields are populated, click OK to confirm the connector, and the study will be ready to run. This is just one of many examples where a general spring connector can be applied where a standard spring connector would fail. In fact, the general spring connector can be applied in many situations that don't involve literal springs, and this is actually where it truly excels. The stiffness of a generic linear elastic body can be characterized using six degrees of freedom offered by the general spring connector, which allows it to represent non-spring connections and arbitrary joints very simply. This can be particularly useful in situations where overall structure stiffness is important, but stresses at the component interfaces are not. Likewise, the standard spring connector is still very useful for representing actual springs and is much simpler to define. If you appreciated this video, do us a favor and give it a like so other simulation users can find it as well. And consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date with our latest releases. To learn more about connectors and best practices for SOLIDWORKS simulation studies, consider taking a look at our course on SOLIDWORKS Simulation Standard, which covers several study types along with a variety of standard connectors and strategies for properly meshing models. And if you're interested in discovering what else is new this year, be sure to explore the rest of our What's New in SOLIDWORKS 2025 series over at solidprofessor.com for more information on enhancements to the user interface, sketching, features, parts, assemblies, and more.
Thanks for watching and see you next time.